Yo, what up? It's Aaron Moses. If you watched my last video, I was talking about shadow work and I was getting technical and weird and stuff like that. And the, at the end, I asked you guys to meditate on why shadow work opens you up. Now, again, I started out saying that what you feel and what is real is two different pills, man. The red pill and the blue pill. The blue pill, which is the fake reality, is your feelings, okay? Your feelings that are not actually real to everybody else, but they're very real for you, okay? What is real is the red pill, the reality, the actual truth, and what everybody can see and what everybody except for you agrees on because you're in your little feelings, okay? What's real and what you feel is not the same pill, okay? So, why shadow work attracts to you more abundance is because you get what you are and what you feel in life. So, if you think you're not worthy, if you think you're not good enough, no matter how much work you put in, no matter how much of these money spells you do, the honey jars, it's, gonna, it's going to matter. It's definitely, it's certainly going to matter. But at the end of the day, you won't have to do a lot of that stuff. You won't have to walk around with the time and the clothes and the little money back. You won't have to do that because internally you're going to be healthy. Because spiritually you're going to be healthy. And look at the laws of the universe. Like attracts like. Okay? The law of attraction. The law of rhythm. So what you have inside. As within. As so without. As above. So below. So if you are. If you have been. If you've been traumatized, I'm not going to say any specific type of trauma. If you've been traumatized, if you have slight PTSD and you are just going through life, just trying to pretend like it didn't happen. If you don't want to talk about it, if you don't want to get it out, if you want to just internalize it and make this a part of you, that's always going to be something that's going to be a, what I call a filter. OK, that's going to be an just think of it like an extra aura. That's going to be an extra body. Okay, that's going to be extra strings attached to what you are trying to attract. And that's not okay. You don't need your money to have trauma all over it, bro. What I learned when I was dating, when I was dating um, my ex, she, her family's Muslim. Shout out to them. They're from Algeria. She said her mom, every time they would get a certain amount of money, she would go to the bank take all the money out with the exception of a couple hundred dollars and they would have a ceremony where they all prayed over the money they put water on it they threw oils on it and they read different parts of the quran and then they all put they put the money back and it would triple and they would like take pieces of it and like give it away and do charitable things and they will always get more money and i think they did this like every every couple months it's probably every every season or something like that if you think about that now that is that is not that's not necessarily physical that's not shadow work for the self but that's shadow work for your bank account because this money has all kind of stuff over it all over it bro the physical money yes it's energy yes it's a 100 dollar bill but think about what has come with this 100 dollar bill think about all the blood and all the tears and all the sweat and who has been handling this money even if it's not that same tangible 100 dollar bill Think about it. This came from this came from somewhere. This came from somewhere and it has been exchanged and touched and it's been through a lot. So you do need to cleanse that. Think about that that dollar energy as your own energy. You're going to attract money that has fingerprints all over it. So you need to not only cleanse that money but cleanse yourself first. Okay, we'll go back to the relationship thing since I've been talking about that a lot. You've been if you've been assaulted when you were a child and you've been neglected and you just had to raise yourself and it was just hard for you growing up if you don't do anything about that you are going to try to you're going to ultimately attract something that's going to fill your fill your voice with that same type of energy in it or is going to or this person is going to be brought to you to clear some of that stuff out this person is going to boost your your confidence but they're going to be a stalker because they invested so much time and energy into you and you don't want to be with them anymore because you you outgrew them and they're like what no i did all of this i spent all this money on you i i held you when you were crying i helped you with your homework 
I did all of this. I babysat your children. And you're just going to throw me away because you got some new shoes. Like, no, come here. You, you're mine. No. Like, you feel me? So you don't want to go forward with a lot of things unless you, you, unless you get some of these dragons out your system. Okay. If you got a new job, let's say, let's say, let's say you were, a, you were physically abused as a child, right? You're physically, you're physically abused as a child and now you grew up and you become an alcoholic, right? If you're like, all right, look, I don't want to be an alcoholic. The only, one of the reasons I drink so much is because the job I have is so easy and when I get home, I have a lot of energy, so I just drink until I go to sleep, right? So I'm just going to get a job that's really physically challenged, challenging. I don't even care if it pays more. So your intentions are great. Your intentions are good. They're out there. You want to stop drinking, so you are going to get a better job, right? A better job that's harder, even if it's a dollar, two dollars less than what you make right now. You just really want to stop drinking. So you put that energy out there and then you get a good job. You get a better job, actually. It pays better, benefits, all of that, right? And physically, it's so draining, you can't drink. But you still haven't dealt with the issues of you getting physically abused when you were a child. So that you're not drinking anymore, but now you're spending money. Now you're attracting all these people that are drinking around you. Now you're messing up at work because you're going to the bar with them or they show you the little tips and tricks so you could drink on the job and you won't get caught. And then they're like, oh, no, you could drink. We all drink a lot. So you could just do like this and do like this. And you're like, bro, I never even thought of that. And then you start drinking more, and then guess what? You lose your job. You lose your house. You don't have any money. And you're drinking more than before because you didn't deal with the issues that you had in your past. This is why shadow work is so important because I hear stories like this all the time. All the time. And had you dealt with that, this is a metaphor. I'm not talking about anybody in particular. Had you dealt with the issues of you getting neglected or whatever, I said, physically abused as a child, you wouldn't even have to get another job. You would just stop drinking gradually. Your body would feel better. You would have more energy and you would save money and you would be happier. And your boss is saying that your face looks better. You're happier. Your hair, you're taking better care of yourself and you get a promotion. That's what the shadow work is supposed to do. That's what the shadow work is supposed to do. A lot of people like to start from the top. You're supposed to start from the inside, bro. You're supposed to start from the inside out. Now, you, I, I recommend, just like my therapist said, I recommend that you work on three things at a time. Now, I think you should work on your physical health, okay? Work on your physical health because that's going to give you clarity. That's going to give you more space and room to move. Definitely work on something in your past, something past traumas, definitely. And then I think you should work on work on the issue that you tell yourself that you tell yourself you have. OK, personally, I I tend to say that nobody loves me. I tend to say that I'm not good enough. And I tend to say that um all people are the same. I don't say it like that. I say something else. But there are things that I tell myself that are not necessarily true. And I also say I'm a bad person. I'm a bad person. I'm a demon and I'm crazy. I'm a demon. But I say I say certain things that I definitely shouldn't be saying to myself at all. So me making affirmations is what's been helping me the most. Me acknowledging I'm not necessarily an overly angry person. I just don't know how to use my anger. So I direct it in a different way now. Me acknowledging like, I like the passion. I like the fire. I like the the feeling of just excitement because I'm an Irish gang, baby, of course. So it's not necessarily that I'm an angry person. I don't have anger problems, but I just don't know how to use my anger. I do now, but I didn't before. So. What I've been doing is making affirmations, me saying that I am accepting myself exactly how I am. I'm grateful for who I am. I walk aggressively in confidence. I am whatever I say, right? But then because I have this recording equipment, I record myself and then I say little subliminal 
messages under. Then I put the chants, music, rain, fire, um, birds chirping, and wind, different things to, for the different elements to subconsciously attack where these thoughts are in my brain. And I listen to them all day. A lot of people think I'm listening to music at work. Ah! Doing some shadow work, baby. I'm working on my subconscious mind. What you mean? Okay? So that is definitely important. And like I said in my last video, you're not going to have to do all of this cute, bubbly, fairy stuff. You're not going to have to light incense. You're not going to have to light candles and do all this crazy stuff and put all the honey in the jars and make all the now you can do those things those are great methods for you to attract money but if you're not internally working then you might as well just not do those things because the money's going to come it's going to be a monkey fist type of situation you feel me if you don't know what that means google it okay it's going to be a monkey fist type of situation me starting to do shadow work like i said in my last video i've been finding money okay i've been finding money I found seventy dollars so far in the last what two weeks two and I found twenty of those dollars yesterday, okay um when I hit a cigarette when i hit when I smoke my cigarettes, they don't really do anything for me mentally. It's more of a habit now they don't make me more calm, I don't feel that same rush, I don't feel that same. I don't feel that same sensa sensation because I'm healing something in myself that is making me. I guess it's lowering me. I don't have anxiety. I might subconsciously on a small level. Everybody has a little bit of anxiety. It's a fact. But it's, I don't, whatever it is that's making me smoke cigarettes or that's inspiring me, whatever seeds are planted inside me that are inspiring me to feel the need to smoke cigarettes is slowly being burnt away. Um, I told you the lady just gave me her grandson's Jordans. He, she bought him some Jordans and he did something fool. He did something really messed up. And she took his shoes away and gave them to me, the lady who I helped with her groceries. Um, wait, now that I think about it, why doesn't he help her with her groceries? That's probably why she gave me his shoes. And you know what's funny? She still didn't give me those carrots. She's been telling me she was going to buy me carrots for the last, like, three weeks. And I don't know why specifically carrot. I don't know why she specifically wants to give me carrots. I should have asked her about that. Anyways, and um, something else happened, I can't remember. I found money, and I've had a lot more energy and motivation. That's a fact. And the cigarette thing. So, totally, dude. Definitely, definitely invest your time in the shadow work. The, the most thing that it's going to do... I'm going to give you, I don't want to give you any kind of disclaimers or anything like that because I know there's a lot of on here watching this video that's scared of everything, but um, you do have to know what you're doing if you take certain steps. As far as the affirmations, I wouldn't call myself a professional, but I've been studying affirmations for like 10 years almost. So I know this, the different sciences and the different techniques. So if you want me to make my, your own custom affirmation because I have the equipment, um, you should definitely invest in me. I'll do that. And if you want other people to have them and you don't want to pay for your own affirmations, I'll put them out there free for everybody. Okay. Instead of me doing the hooking it up for you and saying your name and putting the subliminal messages in there for you so you don't have to say thousands of affirmations. I'll just make one for you, for everybody, okay? So basically what I was going to do is, let's say you feel like, you. let's say you say I'm ugly all the time, okay? I will put, I would say I am beautiful. I am looking in the mirror and seeing a miraculously beautiful person or whatever I would say, right? And then under it, I would say I am beautiful. I am more beautiful than I was yesterday and I will be more beautiful tomorrow. I am viewing myself as a very beautiful person my face is lovely my face is glowing with beauty and i would say it under i would either sing it or whisper it but you would still be able to hear it but not completely so i wouldn't distract you then i would say a little chant under it the nam yoho renge kyo or the um under it so it would go into your subconscious mind deeper then i'll put a little lo-fi beat under it with some elemental sounds whether that be rain jungle sounds uh fire or the wind blowing, depending on what kind of affirmation it is. So that's not 
that's not going to be too much and it's going to change your life so and it's going to be your property so you can repost it you can upload it do whatever you want with it but um yeah man it is what it is i hope that you definitely learned a lot why shadow work opens you up to attract more money yeah it's major out here it's major so number one if you're going to do any kind of magic if you're going to do any kind of meditations affirmations visualizations making goals anything like that you cannot make goals and then expect to do the same thing every day that's just targeted okay you can't do that bro that's 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 not how life works my dude so yeah i'm the bang you the bang we the bang together man life is in the breath and moses breathe it on babe.